Do you guys like pressure? Think about it. You need to. You need to. Okay, I'm going to ask a question again. Do you guys want to like pressure? Okay. Most people run from pressure. You guys make a promise to me right now. Never run from pressure again. Make a promise to me. Never run from it. Do you know why I became who I was? Because someone forced me to be that person. My GM saw me close a bunch of deals. You know what he said? You're going to be our closer. We had a mile long dealership, okay? Toyota, Chevy, Dodge, Ford, GMC. It was a whole mile long. He goes, you're going to be the company closer. I had a Nextel a long time ago. There was this Nextel deal. Is you, you know what I mean? And that's kind of how what we did. Right, it was like a walkie-talkie, yeah, in a mullet, right? And guess what? I had this little clip on. Let me show you guys something. Hey, Hagerman, where you at? Real quick, where's Hagerman at? Somewhere? Is he gone? Watch. Oh, hey, Hagerman, no, pull up this picture when I was younger. As I'm talking to him right now, as I'm talking to you, right? When I see you, as I'm talking to her, when I see her in a year from now, I want you to be completely different. Look at this picture. Do you guys see that guy in the middle? I don't know if I was old enough to drink yet. Okay, but there's a beer in there. Okay, but that was me. You see that kid? You see that kid right there? That kid right there, he made 400 grand that year, okay? Look at the smile on my face. Look at this. Look at this. Got the damn tie. See this guy right here? This guy makes over a million a year, okay? He started with me. He, he owns part of the Lander stores. He runs it. He's killed me and him. We came from nothing. He moved in with me in seventh grade because his mom left. Just, she just left with some guy. So I was like, cool, man. My mom left too. Let's just, let's just all, we'll just live in this house. Dude, there was no sheets on the bed. There was no nothing. We just like literally just all slept there. Long story short, there's me. I was a closer. I'm giving you a scenario so you can understand. I want you to tell your story one day. It's going to be hell getting there, but it's going to need to have pressure, okay? How did I become great? Well, it was really easy. I decided to get involved in closing more often, okay? If I was closing deals all day long, how fast would I get good at closing? Really fast, okay? Right now, if you're not in charge of your store to close every deal, could you still get on camera, go through every single objection and record yourself doing it and picturing yourself doing it for the entire store later? Yes, yes. You're deciding to get ready for the position that's coming up. Do you guys work right now for the job you have or the job you want? Do you guys right now dress right now for the job you have or the job you want? Do you guys have the mindset right now for the life you have or the life you want? Do you treat your money right now like you're a millionaire or do you treat it like when I'm a millionaire, I'll treat my money that way? Do you guys know millionaires invest all of their money? They use it as a tool to make them more money. People that don't have money have scarcity. They try to hold on to it like, oh, I just got a little bit now. I got to hold it. I can't let it go. And then guess what? They stay small. Instead of having an abundance, mindset, right? To have the fixed mindset and they're screwed. Scarcity mindset. I had a golf cart. It's a mile long. Just imagine it. I want you guys to think about this. Okay. Every second, my phone was going, and it was like GMC store. We got a lady in white hair. You know, she's going to be leaving. She's I mean, like, that was the deal. And it was like golf cart. I drive down. I'd walk in and say, Hey, Guys, what's going on? Hey, I'm Andy. Andy, welcome to the store. Hey, the owner just saw you sitting down here and he said, who is this lady? I think she used to be my neighbor or something. So I just wanted to come down here and say hi. Uh, I tell a salesman, hey, give me just a second. Do you mind if I talk to her? Okay, cool. You know, I'd pull my chair up, sit around, next thing you know, close it, write it up. Let's go. Here you go, bring it to the desk. I didn't know anything about the deal. I didn't know credit. I didn't know nothing. I looked at the paper. I knew I needed to get what's on the paper. I didn't know what she'd been shopping, what she thinks her car's worth. I didn't know anything. I don't want to know, okay? You know what I know? I believe in me. You know I believe? I don't need all the details, okay? By the way, the details you give me, that's your best perspective, okay? My perspective is this. She wouldn't be in here if she didn't want to buy something. Don't tell me what's going on. I had a rule. Don't tell me nothing. All the other closers were like, well, what's her credit? And uh, what was her weight last time? And, um, you, know, you know what I'm saying? It's like, what did all that matter? Are you going to talk yourself out of closing her? Are you going to build up enough ammunition to go in there and now close her? I think what you could do is get a little bit too much information and it'll kill your belief on what you really had originally had going in. You see that momentum train? Next thing you know, boom, run down here. Guess what? Guy's running out. He's already got the keys to his car. He's walking out. Whoa, whoa, whoa sir. Hey, give me just a second. How you doing? Hey, I got a chance to meet you guys yet. Guess what? 30 seconds. How to make a best friend with him. 30 seconds. Next thing you know, we're back inside laughing. <laughs> You guys are crazy, man. I love you guys. Appreciate it. Hey, I'll see you at that cookout next week, all right? Write them up. Write them up. Go. Guys, is that pressure? Be addicted to it. Yazi, quit running from it, okay? You know where you're at right now, right? Right? You're doing a good job. What will you make this year, okay? You're going to make 350 plus this year. Hold on. Watch this. Is he in here? Is he in here because he wants to make three? Hey, and watch. You know what's really cool? Check this out. You, you live in Arizona, right? Okay, do you know that man right there? Okay, where do you live at? You live in Arizona. 
You work in Phoenix? In Peoria? In Peoria? He, he works in Phoenix. Okay? How old are you? How old are you? Cool. He has been in the business for how long? Six years. And he's going to make close to 400 this year. The cool thing is, is that you're in the same room training with a guy just like that, okay? Do you know what that means? Time and experience means nothing. It means nothing, okay? I don't care where you are, all right? There is somebody that's in your area right now that is slaughtering it, okay? The goal is, is that you could, you could double them. And he's going to go to 700 grand. That's why he's here. Last month, hey, have you been? Yeah, you're here every seminar, right? This will be his third time since he found out about us. And by the way, you're a massive baseball player, right? Is it basketball or baseball? Would you go to the games? What was it? What did you skip last time? Yeah, he skipped it. By the way, like he told me, he's like, dude, I don't want to skip this. Like, I don't want to skip, but like, I'm coming. Okay? And I'm going to tell you something, all right? Does everybody have to have sacrifice in life to get what you want? Okay? Watch this. You see her, him, him, right? Their owner, right? Their owner. Billy, right? You guys? Their owner, Country Auto Group, right? They all train on a training platform. Super Bowl weekend last year, the owner calls me. And we're in Oklahoma. And they're in Texas, right? And he's like, hey, listen, I've been watching your stuff, and uh, I, I want to bring my team in. This is the owner. Guess what you guys did? Remember? It was like your first week in the business. Am I right? It was their very first week they got in the business. You know what they did? They all sacrificed Super Bowl weekend, which most people won't do that, okay? And guess what? They all loaded down, came down as a team, and there was about 15 of them, okay? Now every single month, they rotate people in and out, and they come. All I'm going to say is this, like, this guy, he's going to make 700 grand. This guy will be my, break my record. I'm positive of it. The only deal with him, I just got to get him a little crazier. You know what I mean? I just got to get him a little crazier. That's it. She knows what I'm talking about. She's like, get him fucking crazy, please. Please. No, no. We're going to get him crazier. We're going to get him crazier. But that's what we're doing. We are, we are taking another level. But listen to me. These word tracks, that person, I want you guys to know the person you are today and the person you're going to be next year. Look, is your story worth telling? And by the way, everything you did up to this point, it's time to go to that next level, okay? Does that make sense? All right? Man, dude, it's going to be so cool what you guys can do.